attention headache is the most common type of headache, and it's usually what people are talking about when referring colloquially to headache. Figuring out what type of headache someone has is a pretty important skill for a medical practitioner to develop, but it is also something that is high yield for exams. In this scene, we'll give you a quick visual mnemonic to help you remember the basics of tension headache, so you'll be ready for both the boards and the words. This scene takes place in a gym where our main character is really feeling the tension. See that band she's working out with? Let's call it a tension band. Do you feel that? The tension is almost palpable. The tension here should help you remember the phrase tension headache, which is what this scene is about. Next, let's take a look at our heroine doing the exercises. In addition to working out with a band, she's also wearing a headband. This band should help you remember the finding of band-like pain, a common buzzword you should be familiar with. Patients often describe a ring of pain around the head, kind of like wearing a really tight headband, you feel me? Patients may also describe the pain as a vice-like grip around the head, which should similarly tip you off to pain around the head. In fact, this tight pain around the head is exactly why tension headache has the word tension in its name. Our heroine is actually a pretty loaded symbol. You see, she's also here to help you remember that tension headaches are more common in females than they are in males. For unclear reasons, tension headaches are nearly twice as likely to occur in women than in men. This means that question stems about tension headaches will usually give you a female patient. Just remember our female heroine here and you'll be set. Alright, now let's check out how she's using the band. Notice how she's using both hands to keep the tension band still? Yeah, I'm talking about both her left hand and her right hand. Both sides being involved should help you remember that the pain and tension headaches is bilateral. This is super high yield since cluster headaches and migraines, the other major types of headaches, are usually unilateral, meaning that they only affect one side of the head. Another way I like to remember this is by picturing the headband once again. The headband goes all the way around the head, which by definition means that it has to involve both sides. Just a tip that helps me keep the facts straight. Now, back to our heroine. Our heroine here really has an iron will. To complete the workout successfully, she has to keep her hands completely still so the band remains at full tension. If she doesn't, her workout will be a wash and she can kiss her gains goodbye. Anyway, her steady form here should help you remember the steady pain that is observed in tension headache. The pain is steady and constant, meaning that it doesn't fluctuate much throughout the headache's course. This is important to remember as it is a differentiating factor versus migraine and cluster headaches. Recall how migraines typically present with pulsating pain, while cluster headaches present with short episodes of excruciating pain around the eyes. Tension headaches, on the other hand, usually have steady pain. Again, there is no throbbing. Just hold that band steady. That's it. Whoa, looks like someone's been hitting the energy drinks. Come on, is the workout really that hard? See that empty bottle of 5 hour energy? Yep, this stuff keeps you running strong for 5 hours or maybe four to six hours, give or take. Coincidentally, tension headaches typically last four to six hours and almost always last longer than 30 minutes. Again, how long a headache stays around for is a key indicator of the headache type and the time period of greater than 30 minutes should help you eliminate cluster headaches, which typically are much shorter, something in the range of around 15 minutes. Just remember our five hour energy here and you'll remember that tension headaches usually last for about five hours. All right. I should also probably mention some of the pertinent things not found in tension headaches. Specifically, you should know that there are usually no associated symptoms with tension headaches. I'm talking about stuff like photophobia, phonophobia, and aura. In plain English, this means that tension headaches do not involve avoiding light, avoiding sound, nor visual disturbances. For the savvy ones out there, you may recognize that these features are characteristics of migraine, another type of headache. We didn't make symbols for these features though because, well, they aren't observed, right? Great, now on to the treatments. Take a look at this workout sled here. Yeah, after her lighter tension band warm up, our heroine likes to get in a little heavier resistance training. A sled is a recurring symbol for NSAIDs, which are the first line treatment for resolving an acute tension headache. NSAIDs are things like aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen, by the way. But you already knew that, right? Anyway, just remember our NSAID sled, or NSLED, and you'll have this treatment down. Next, take a look at her companion doing a spin workout. She looks pretty comfortable cooling herself off with a mini fan. Yeah, a mini fan. 
This mini fan should help you remember acetaminophen, or acetaminophen, if you will. Acetaminophen, better known as Tylenol, can also be used for acute resolution of a tension headache. Lastly, did you notice how she's actually riding a tricycle? Yep, that's a stationary tricycle. This tricycle should help you remember tricyclic antidepressants, also called TCAs. Get it? Tricycle for tricyclic? Tricyclic antidepressants, like amitriptyline, have been shown to reduce the number and severity of tension headaches, so they are commonly prescribed for chronic management. Phew, alright. This workout has really left me exhausted. I hope you're really feeling the burn. Let's recap. Tension headache is the most common type of headache, and it usually occurs in females. The pain is located in a band-like ring around the head, affecting both sides bilaterally. The pain is usually steady and constant, and it lasts longer than 30 minutes, usually for around 5 hours. Treatments can target either acute resolution of pain or chronic prophylaxis. For the former, acute tension headaches are treated with NSAIDs like ibuprofen or by using acetaminophen, better known as Tylenol. Chronic management involves the use of tricyclic antidepressants, like amitriptyline, which can be prescribed to reduce the number and severity of tension headaches. Okay, so wow. Now, we're actually done with tension headache. I hope this one didn't give you a headache. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.